Hi, this is Blue and I'm coming today with a review of a pre-workout gummy that I picked up from Sam's Club. Um, you can also get these gummies online and if, if you don't know what a Sam's Club is, it's like a BJ's or a Costco. They had these on sale. They had a coupon so I was like, hmm, I'm working out. Let me give them a try. So I do not know if these are pronounced Hilo or Hilo. I've, said, I've heard people pronounce it two different ways. So I'm not quite sure. This is a 16 pack on the go, on the go single pack gummy. So this is what the packs look like. This is my last pack. It has 150 milligrams of caffeine. Each pack is 60 calories. So let's go ahead and get into it. So let's talk about the taste. Let's just get it out of the way. They don't taste good. <laughs> there is no way around it. It's just a taste you become accustomed to. I tell people all the time, I take something called BC powders. BC powders are disgusting, but they get the job done. So I take BC powders, pretty much the same effect. <laughs> um, the texture, thick and gummy, not thick like a uh, gummy bear. Um, thick like I have braces and it could probably pull a bracket off. Uh, and that combined with the bad taste, it's not necessarily a good experience. They have several, I want to say they have about eight in this package. I can't really, and I don't want to open this because it's my last one. They have eight in the package. So yes, you do have to get down eight. It says consume 15 to 30 minutes before your workout. And that's it. Just not a really good taste. They're really thick. So let me tell you about my experience with them. Well, let me tell you how I use them. I know I normally only use them before, not normally, I, I use them before my long walks. Normally on Sundays, I go on very long walks, meaning over five miles, five miles and up. So that's when I'll use these because I don't really have experience with pre-workouts. So I was just like, well, let me not take them every day because I don't want to be sitting at my, I work from home. I don't want to sit at my just like, mm -hmm. you know, so I said, well, let me take it before a long workout so I could burn it off. That was my mindset. Let's just go with it. So the first time I took these, I took a walk in my neighborhood. You all thought I was going to die. I had to call my partner. I'm like, I'm about to die. Come get me. He was like, calm down. <laughs> you took a pre-workout. Um, so I went on my walk. So maybe about 30 minutes into my walk, I literally felt like a vampire. Have you ever seen any of the vampire movies when they stick their hand in the sun and your the skin starts to burn? That's how my body felt from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet. It felt like the old school vampires, you put your hand in the sun and the shit's about to catch on fire. Uh, would mix with, if you've seen Twilight, you know how their skin would like sparkle in Twilight? So imagine if it had like that sparkle, but where it started glistening, it was like this, it was like burning like that. That is the best way for me to explain it. And I started turning red. So I thought I was having a full allergic reaction about to die and the first and at first i was like well maybe it's the sunscreen but i'm like you wear the sunscreen all the time and then once i put two and two together that it's the, the pre-workout i didn't know pre-workouts gave people weird effects i literally was on fire like i i had to stop walking and i had to call somebody he told me, I'm going to come get you, but keep walking. Just keep walking. It's going to go away. He was right. It did go away after, I want to say about 10 minutes. But those were the worst 10 minutes because I, I am, first of all, I'm already a hypochondriac. So, you know, I was ready to say, you know what? I'm going home to see my big mama. Lord, I'm about to die on this road. And I know I didn't did something. I had no business to do, to do it, you know, and I ain't had time to repent. So, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all don't pay attention to that part but that's how it felt so and it, the first ones I took I'm sorry with the blue ras. so the following weekend because you know hard head makes soft ass I took the red which are the red fish the effects weren't as bad I was expecting that same burning and my skin just felt more warm it just was like a very like warm sensation but not to the point where I thought I needed to go home take a shower and a Benadryl so I said okay so the third week I said okay well we're gonna go and try to blue rest again again excuse me 
the blue rash felt the same way it felt that first week. But I knew it was going to go away. And I was just like, okay, it's going to go away. Lord, let it go away. Lord, you told me the first time. Please let this burning go away. <laughs> it went away. And I was like, all right. I took like two weeks off from the, from them and kept walking outside using my regular sunscreen. No problems. So, of course, I took the gummies again. And it wasn't, I think that that fourth time, it wasn't, I didn't have any effects. So, between four and four and 15, because like I said, I have one more pack. It would be off and on, but it was never to the intensity of the first and third and even on the second. Every now and then, I'll feel the little... I, like my skin like feel like it want to start getting hot but it'll go away now so I did want to tell you just how it made my skin feel it made me feel like I was on fucking fire but energy wise it gave me energy like I said I don't have another pre-workout to compare it to it gave me energy it gave me a lot of energy because every time I took it I was able to easily walk seven sometimes ten miles because like I said, I like to do just one long day of moderate paced walking. Um, and I was able to do it and still come home and not feel exhausted and need to go to sleep. Because before what would happen if I try to go on a, like a very long walk, it would be counterproductive because by the time I get home, I'll be so worn out that I would go to sleep. And, you know, I, I literally messed up my whole Sunday. It's nothing. I, I couldn't do anything else. So... It did give me the energy and I didn't have any jitters. So I didn't have jitters. I didn't have, you know, a whole bunch of this. I used to be really caffeine sensitive, but I have a coffee right now. I'm not as caffeine sensitive as I used to be. Um, so I do want to put that out there and maybe that's why I didn't get the jitters. But absolutely no jitters, no lagging effects, none of that. Um, so that was the positive and that's why I'll probably keep taking this until I can find something that tastes better. You know, have the same no jitter effects and don't cause me to burn. <laughs> feel like I'm on fire from the inside out so I am willing to try more the reason that I didn't go with the powder because I'm a realist if I had bought pre-workout and I remember where I lived it was five years ago and I just didn't use it I, I'm not proud to sit there mix powder with the water stirred I know someone is probably saying well it only takes 30 seconds it's 30 seconds that I don't want to spend so I, I, I bought this literally for the convenience factor um, and I'm not a person who I see people take the pre-workouts and literally just scoop it in their mouth. No, I'm not there in my journey. I cannot do that. So this is the best option for me simply for convenience. And sometimes, you know, I literally grab it and I'm taking it in the car. Like it's, when I'm pulling out of my garage, I'm popping them in my, well, I'm chewing them slowly in my mouth because there's no popping these big things in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that's just my brain just hopped y'all we gonna keep going but so I put I, I, I eat them while I'm pulling out of the garage so by the time I make it to the park it's not quite 15 minutes but almost after I give it a stretch and looking around looking for killers you know making sure no one ain't out here about to kill me and start my walk that'll be my 15 minutes so Again, I'm going to repurchase it even though, you know, I had the bad effects at first. But I wanted to be crystal clear with you as a novice, as a person who just don't take a bunch of proteins and pre-workouts and all of this stuff. That was my <laughs> that was my experience with the Hilo or Hilo pre-workout gummies. And they have a whole bunch of stuff in here that I've never heard of. So, yeah, I, I want to be like, oh, yeah, I know what all this stuff is. I don't know what any of the stuff on the back of this thing is. I'll put a picture of it here if I can find a picture or I might just take a picture at the back of the box. But thank you so much for watching this. I, hopefully I kept it under 10 minutes. You all have a blessed rest of the day.